right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are going to work on our cosmic snowflake. So we're going to take a coffee filter, and I started coloring this, and then I stopped the video because my markers were so old that they were really dry. So I actually grabbed some better markers uh, just so I can show you. This is a great activity to do with really old markers. Um, yeah, this is black. Black actually turns out to be really, really neat when you end up adding water to it. So that's why I'm doing this black right now. Just making a star. You're not really going to focus so much on making designs on this because when you add water, everything's going to spread out anyway. So I'm just coloring this really, really super fast. And it doesn't have to be this beautiful, perfect design because all of the colors are gonna be running together. And I'm doing mine really fast. You don't have to do yours as fast. I'm just doing mine fast because I wanna get through the video to show you. Oops, it's going off camera. I think I might do pink. Pink. leave it like this. I think this might come out pretty cool. It's like a flower. I like it. Okay. So I think I might add just a little bit more of this other color. See, this is the thing you guys with Mrs. Chapman, she kind of starts something and then she can't stop. I like it. <laughs> it's so fun. It's almost like I just want to keep it the way it is and put it up on my wall. All right, so I'm going to leave this the way it is. And then the next step that I'm going to show you, I'm going to add water to it. And we're going to see all of the colors run together. All right, so for this next part, you are going to need a spray bottle. So you also uh, make sure that you understand that your fingers are probably going to get really dirty because you have to turn it. I'm going to put this immediately uh, somewhere that it can dry. So if you don't have a drying rack at home, I would recommend that you use that little tray that you have for your cookies. That might be a really good place. Or if you have a dish rack at home, you could probably put it in the dish rack. I don't really see this ink being harmful, um, but, uh, yeah, let's just see if this works. You might just even put it outside on the concrete on the pavement and just see if it dries a little bit that way. All right, so we're gonna take the spray bottle and we're gonna add, ooh, we're gonna add water to it and we're gonna see what happens. All right, I'm loving that. Okay, so now that I've done that, You can, if you want, you can move it around a little bit and you can see if the ink starts to travel. Like if you see that, my ink is starting to travel. Oh yeah, this might be really cool. You could probably, if you have a white piece of paper, you could just leave it on the white piece of paper because I'm really liking the little trails that it's making. I think I'm going to do that. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and I'm gonna let it dry and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start working on the snowflake part. 